Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Stu from the Next Hour Tin. I hope you're good. I'm still in Dubai. I've just finished on the Jice Sladder. I asked them for the pronunciation. I keep forgetting what the, their answer was. I keep on making it up every time. Uh, so I'm just about to leave. This car is a million degrees. Uh, just about to leave the car park for that. Um, I've not been to sleep yet since yesterday because this is my arrival day. I arrived this morning. I didn't sleep really mu that much on the plane coming over here. If you haven't seen the, the Sledder video, go and have a look at that. And also my travel video, they're, they're already uploaded. There will be a Dubai uh, playlist as well, so you can see them all there. It's an Intamin. It's got new the new Intamin lap bar. I say new, like Taran onwards basically um it looks really interesting looks fun it looks like it's more fun at night but i don't have it in me to wait that long until it goes dark particularly here where it's gonna want to go dark for ages so we'll go and have a go at it uh i don't know if i can take you on or not if not i'll get some off ride of it if i can brilliant i'll take all my stuff with me just in case they, they allow it uh, i have tried to message them no one reply either they're really good at replying or they just don't bother replying whatsoever it's very very strange if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel if you can. It means a hell of a lot. As of right now, we're on, as I'm filming this, we're on 865, I think. Now, when we filmed the Plopsland vlog, I think I just, we said we're on 500. We just passed 500. And by, the Plops one, by the time I'm filming this, hasn't even gone live yet. It goes live next week, I think, from in, in real terms. So the fact that it's growing and people are watching means a hell of a lot. So I do really appreciate it. I hope you find what I do kind of interesting. And I know there's loads of, I mean, there is loads of like theme park enthusiasts. Um, and a lot of them give like a lot of news. A lot of, I'm not, as much as I, I watch them, I'm, I'm interested in the news. I'm not interested in, well, I'm, I'm interested. That's wrong. I am interested. It's just my vlogs are, this is my day. And actually YouTube hates that. Because YouTube wants you know, people to keep watching, keep um, clicking. Because actually, I just upload an hour-long video or, you know, for a full day, and YouTube doesn't really like it. But the videos I watch on YouTube are still long-form and people's experiences for the whole full day. That's what I enjoy watching. Uh, whereas most videos these days should be about 15 seconds long and uploaded to TikTok, which is, again... I was saying that my TikTok did get... When we did it get a million views? Uh, well, 900,000 and A lot. It got a lot of views. More than anyone would have expected. Anyway, that's a lot of waffle. Let's go to... There'll be a few shots between here. It'll be a very quick journey for you. It's going to be about a two-hour journey for me. And that's... Oh, to be fair, today is a weekend. It is a Saturday. Uh, which means I think the weather... The weather. The traffic will be a little bit better than it would otherwise be. Let's go. You're taking up like two spaces if you park there. What are you doing? Oh, I, I have no idea what this person's doing, so I'm going to start reversing. opposite direction to the city this morning oh my god that was this morning i am really flagging now i'm starting to feel a bit sick and i, I need to get some sleep but it's a new coaster so you know i'll sleep when i'm dead This'll do. Although, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna take a picture of the sign so I know exactly where I am. I thought I was going mad, but they do actually play music in the car park, which is a very nice touch. That's good effort, that. My hair, is, everything's a mess now. I'm too tired to care. Loving the jazz music. I'm in P6D when I need to come back. <laughs> There's a sign which says, in fact, I'll just show it to you.
in the Dubai Mall, there is actually a roller coaster credit. It's like a VR coaster, I think. It's like an arcade. I remember doing that one last time I was here. It said roller coaster this way. I don't know if it's up or down. So actually, this is very similar to the to the the like the other. Like the arcade I've just talked about actually in the Dubai Mall, it's like an arcade, but then there's a roller coaster inside it. This one's a lot bigger. So the very kind person on reception asked the manager, the manager's just gonna ask for the technician. They might have still not say no. They say no, that's absolutely fine. But they were very kind and they asked me, they, they, they asked for me, so I appreciate that in itself. Um, they charge extra for the front row though, so I don't want to buy a front row if I'm not going to get a video of it, so uh, I'll go for the cheap rocks and pass the case. Either way, I'm excited to ride it. I haven't even seen it yet, but I'm excited to ride it. £26 for two rides. You see that first one, £80, uh, 80 Durham, so it's 20 for one, so I thought for an extra £6, uh, sorry, 18 extra eight pound, might as well have two goes because they've said yes. So I can film, do a front seat, which I'm really happy when the technician came down, they were very accommodating. If you'd have said no, I'd have been more than happy, but uh, so I said, well, I'll have two rides now because I feel guilty that you've, you've done that for me. It's worth saying they did properly check it as well. He pulled it quite a bit to make sure it's closed. We're set up base here in Dubai Hills to monitor increasingly strange weather activity that's been hitting the region. Welcome to the Sky Deck, our eyes over Dubai. Now let's not waste any more time. Iris, take it to the top. Range of over 400 miles and detect even the smallest of storms. There's a storm coming. We see it first. The Sky Deck. Would you look at that? What a view. That can't be right. Okay, here we go. We've just done the front row. Now we're on the second to back, just so you can see a bit more because the train articulates. The vertical launch. I mean, it's not a massive launch. Oi, but you do get a bit of air time at the top. And unfortunately, this 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 top half. I'm not gonna lie. 
is a little bit lacklustre. This is not bad, this weird inversion over. There is lights and stuff which are triggered as you go past. And there is a, a manual photographer down here who, ta who takes a picture of the train, which is novel. And there's quite a lot of hang time in this one. Oh! And then you're, you're already hitting brakes, unfortunately. So yeah, the the ride for that, unfortunately, isn't isn't great. It looks a lot better on video, as I'd say. But I will say this. The staff are absolutely lovely. Every team member has asked me about the video and just all promised to subscribe, which obviously butters me up quite well. But they've just been really, like, if, if there's been a, a, a 30 second delay, they've been coming over and telling us what the delay was. All very nice. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Let's take a look. Up here, shall we? In the actual arcade. The quality now of some of these arcade machines are like just the LEDs and the screen quality. Kids don't know they're born. What is this thing? It was tipping back a second ago. Oh my god, it's pretty violent. How have I never seen this before anywhere? That is, these must be locked. That is ridiculous. I do like the detail, you see these LEDs all around the track. I don't know if they follow the car as they go around. These triangles at night. I think at night, because it would be dark, it would be better. Staff 10 out of 10, they've all been just absolutely brilliant. And I feel bad saying bad things about the ride because they were really nice and they were like very proud of it, if that makes sense. So I don't, that feels quite, yeah, quite mean. However, it was a great ride. The, the idea was nice. There's a, there's a thing in the middle, like a huge central column, which is basically just to, it looks like it's just got air conditioning units all over it. So, like, there's a lot of wasted space with that. That says, you know, what else could you really do with it? It's like they had the idea to do it, or they were building it and said, what should we put in it? Can we put a roller coaster in it? But I know that wasn't true because they had to design the whole building with the roller coaster in mind. So, yeah, it was just not, it wasn't, it wasn't great. Front row rather than it, pay. Yeah, but oh, that's the problem. Also, they will not, if the front row is empty, they won't put anyone in there. They will make you sit in row two and send the train. You know, I, I just find that a, a bit odd in opera. It's already expensive enough to ride the coaster. I, you know, it's a bit of a money grab, that one. But you know, that's not the, not again, I feel harsh because they were lovely, they let me film, they, they, they went out of their, out of their way to let me film, like to get, make sure every uh, every box was ticked. So yeah, I feel I feel a little bit. But then the ride was the ride just wasn't great. You could have had pumping music in there. You could have turned the music down when it wasn't operating. But as soon as it launched, you could have had it because it would have vibrated through there and 
it would sound like a good racket because it's very quiet and it is silky smooth and stuff but there's a thing that I hear it says Adventure Park so it's just pricked my interest a little bit to go and see what it is I mean even the roller coaster ever advertised it as that is the record I wouldn't hold out much hope for it it makes the ride look a lot more exciting when they're going in, when they're going backwards and stuff. Oh well. This is a high ropes course. Oh, and a trampoline park. Oh, and a ninja warrior. The pre-show, by the way. Nice idea, but the floor didn't move at all. Well, you told everyone I wouldn't start it until everyone held. Let's go this way. Until everyone held the grab rail. But they didn't move. Is that what? Just because of the motion in there might make people fall over? I don't know. It, when you stepped on it, it definitely bounced a little bit to suggest that it is meant to move. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what was going on. And then he came over to me halfway through to then look, check my ticket, and then we discussed about being on the front seat. But I'm watching the pre show. All just a little bit odd. All car parks should have jazz music playing in them. Particularly at Resorts World in Birmingham. 17 quid to park your car there. 17 English pounds. Found the car with no issue. I'll have to that thing again. I'm on the wrong side of the car. Right, I'm gonna record some of this jazz so we can all enjoy it at the end of the video. Very posh hotel. Well, let's just, let's just bang it here. To be fair, it looks more glam. I thought I was going to make a joke about how all these influencers and YouTubers go to Dubai and it always looks glamorous. I'm not saying this looks glamorous. I'm just saying it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would when I was driving into this area. It's a sort of place which will be lovely once it's finished type area. So just a very quick look around. I mean, it's a Premier Inn. It's nothing to get too excited about. Have a quick look in here. Oh, we've got a bath. A shower. And some towels. Me. Cheeky B day. And a... Uh, and toilet. And that is it. Oh, tea and coffee. And water, Emirates. We did say the rooftop pulls up until eight, so I am actually gonna go up and just spend half an hour in there. And then it also says there's a gym on the ground floor. So I might, I might go and check the water first, because I wanna get all my stuff out, out and then get up there. Also, Dubai is uh, British plugs. Just so you know, you don't have to bring an adapter with you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'll, I'll take you with me whilst we go and have a look at what facilities there is for them. And then um, I thought the pool would be with the gym. That's why I didn't ask for it separately, but, but it's not. So I'm gonna go up to the pool, have a quick look, and then go to the gym, have a quick look. Come back, and if the pool temperature is decent, and not freezing, which I don't think it will be. I'm gonna go to the pool. And in the morning, I'm gonna go for my run. Right, it is a... Oh, that's horrible. They've gone for nice lighting over here, and then they've gone for this. And it doesn't look very cold white, but in real life. I mean, 
I normally do the wrap up in darkness, so you know we'll take it this time. That's it's a few hours later. I've got tickets for Motion Gate tomorrow. I've been trying to work out a deal whether I could do Motion Gate or oh, come on, uh, Motion Gate and IMG, but. I bought something and they've already just refunded it so they obviously can't do the deal or whatever. So I'm just going to go to Motion Gate tomorrow, which is absolutely fine. There's a couple of new things. And they've got two new coasters there. Plus, I didn't get on the Capital Bullet Train, the Mac, like reverse launch, then, you know, one of those um, double launch, triple launch type coasters. So I get to go on that as well. Well, if it's open, hopefully. So join me in that video. That'll be the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. It does mean a lot. If you can, please like the video. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video from Motion Gate Dubai.